Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. How is it going? I finish my dinner and I come back in two minutes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, for some reason, the view is different. Let me check. Gallery. Okay. This is the one. Okay. So Blanca and Mariela, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Teacher, I'm, I'm relaxed right now. <laughs> awesome. Relaxing. You're still on vacation? Yeah. No. <laughs> but I have to enjoy my free time in the night. Exactly. exactly. At, yeah, free time at night is the one that we usually have, right? Oh, and the weekends, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Brenda Chair. and Roxana, hello. Tell me, Blanca. When, when, um, when we have to finish all the activities uh, in the platform? Uh, from the from the week one, or from? Yeah, uh, or each each week because each week. I yeah. don't know when when we have to finish because I don't. I don't do I I don't do anything in the last week so I I want to to update all update yeah uh, to catch up to update with the information well in this case um we are finishing uh, well today for example is a session number 8 that will be the third day of the second week that means that we are going to finish every week is going to be finished on Wednesday. Okay, okay, thank you. So the 18th, then the 25th, and then the first. And the last day will be the September 8th. Wednesday, September 8th. Okay, Brenda, uh, Roxana, Miguel, and Flor. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening, good evening teacher. <laughs> We're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's good to know. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Angel, then we have Flor and Gennady is here now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. So, um, welcome back to the to the classes. I know that after the weekend, it's a little bit hard to start with a new week, right? Because on Mondays we feel a little bit tired or I don't know, sleepy in the morning, um, and it's frequently a little bit hard to start the week, right? After coming uh, from a relaxing weekend. So, uh, and for some reason, traffic is heavier on the on Mondays and people go crazy, right? So, um, hopefully, okay, today we're going to have a full house again, right? So everybody can be in, in the class and, um, we're going to call Mondays uh, Motivation Mondays, okay? So we're going to try to cheer ourselves up so that we get some motivation, some energy um, to start the week and to start practicing the language too. Because I suppose that on the weekend, it's you don't have a lot of opportunities to practice. Um, so Fabio and Diana, welcome. How are you doing, guys? Welcome. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I just finished my dinner and then I will turn my camera on. Okay, okay. 
Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, as soon as you're ready and you can turn on your camera, I'll be happy to see you. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started. Uh, Diego is here. Welcome, Diego and Harvin. We're going to church. Good evening. I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get started, and as it is the um, the beginning of the class, I'm going to quickly just check who is here and who's not, and also uh, to catch to catch up with the with the weekend and the plans for this week. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms. Uh, in a moment so that you can share with your classmates about two questions okay about two questions now if you hear people singing or praying or something it's my neighbors i think i have already told you about that on mondays um it's inevitable but i think that with the headphones and the microphone uh, it's a little bit easier for you to hear me more than the noise around around me i hope <laughs> <laughs> if not you can sing along <laughs> now um let me check okay now i see more people with their cameras on and uh let me check what okay here it is so i'm going to start from the last to the first person in the list and you just say here or present, right? So we we'll start with the with the two ladies who are co-workers, Suleyma and Elizabeth. I think they're not here yet. Probably they're working. Uh, we we'll continue with Irma, Roxana. Present teacher. Present. Okay, Roxana. Nice, Janari. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rolando. Uh, Fabio. I'm here. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Gustavo. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Great. Uh, Jennifer. Arvin. Present teacher. Jackie. Laura. Then we have Freddy's. Francisco. Present teacher. Floor. I'm here, teacher. Diego. I'm here, teacher. Diana. I'm here. Brenda. I'm here, teacher. Blanca. I'm here. Mariela. I'm here. And Beatriz. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So I told you that I was going to send you to the breakout rooms, right, to break the ice and to start catching up. So the two questions are very simple. Uh, the first one is, uh, what do you do on your weekend? And the second question is, what are your plans for this week? Okay, is there something in particular that you're going to do? Uh, so, what are your plans for this week? And what do you do on the weekend, right? How was your weekend? Probably that's the first question that you ask, and then what do you do? So, um, we're going to have just, let me check, four breakout rooms, I think. So everybody can practice. Okay, there we go. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Perfect. So I'm going to give you exactly four minutes to catch up and to start speaking English. Okay, one by one, take turns and share as much as possible. Here we go. Four minutes, maximum five. Okay, depending on how I see the conversations. Okay, accept the invitation.
Hi, Beatriz. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Pretty good. What about you? I'm really nice, teacher. Okay, perfect. Nice to see you. Jennifer, welcome. You. I'm going to send you to the breakout room so you can catch up with your classmates. See you in a moment. Okay. There you go. What happened, Brenda? Ever chasing my life. It was good. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, um, I'm just stayed at home, and that's my weekend. My whole weekend. <laughs> you don't work all the Saturday. What? Sorry. You don't work all the Saturdays. Uh, yes. Normally, I I I need to work. Um. For Sunday in the morning, um, we go to buy with my with my wife to the market to to buy the grocery, vegetable and other food. Okay. In the afternoon, only we go with my family to the church. Only that. Okay, in my case, my weekend was relaxing, <laughs> but it was difficult to me because uh, I have a lot of activity that I have to do during my weekend. Uh, it's about my job because I have a lot of things to do, uh, but my interior was doesn't work. Was, <laughs> yes, and my computer doesn't was to work too, so I can do anything. Yeah, the compu that your was computer. A your computer didn't work, so you say my, my computer didn't work either, and I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Yes. That's correct. Okay, so my internet was. My internet didn't work. My computer didn't work, and I couldn't do anything. Yes, this is okay. the reason why I told you I have a crazy Monday. Oh, because okay. I have to do a lot All of things. the weekend work. Yeah. Like my sister mm -hmm. got worse and my mom was sick. It was used about really? bad things. I don't know why it's like a oh. bad days, but I know and I pray for better days because I know God is in control. Okay. That's true. Yes. <laughs> it's in God's hand. That's right. Hope she gets better. Thanks, teacher. Okay, Jackie's coming so you can catch her up with what we're doing. Okay. That's it. Hey, this is the latest room. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Girls power. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I think I have to leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Irma, what did you do on your weekend? Okay. Do you? I didn't hear you. About yeah. what? Talking about the weekend, last weekend, and what are your plans oh, okay, for the okay. next weekend? For this week, okay, uh -huh, uh, exactly. The last weekend, the last weekend, uh, Saturday, I I was um, a little sick yet. Um, uh, Sunday, I didn't leave because I was sick. <laughs> you didn't go out. In this moment, I <laughs> in this moment, I I am a little sick yet. 
um, a little better, but I, <laughs> I was sick yet. Um, I didn't leave from my house. I stayed in my house all day, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry about that, Juan Jose, but I'm glad that you are, you are feeling better now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Who's next? We all talk about our weekends. So what are your plans for this week? That's, that's the next question. Uh, I, I don't have plans because like Mushu says, well, Mulan says, I plan with the situations. <laughs> okay, okay, got it. So right now there's another classmate coming so you can ask him the question about his weekend. Okay, it's Freddy's. Okay. Okay, see you okay. in a moment. Okay, teacher. What do you have for this weekend? For this week? Really? For this week? For this week, yeah. Oh, we were talking about this weekend. <laughs> nah, we, I mean, for next weekend, we, for I think that we don't have plans, but, but yeah. <laughs> but for this week. For, for this week. For example, uh, today, uh, one of my plans was to go and pay the ele electricity bill. And <laughs> tomorrow I have to go to work. And on Wednesday, I have to go to uh, do some errands to the doctor, probably. So th those are the things that I have to do this week, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I just have work to do. Only today I... I bring the car to the mechanic. You took the car to the mechanic. I I took the car to the mechanic and they gave me in the same day. So I have no other plans, just working all the week. <laughs> yes, just work and have a class. Like I that. have the class yeah. in the night. <laughs> uh, one day of this, I have to check my, my plan because really my internet is, doesn't work. So... <laughs> I have to call the company and check the, the plan because I don't have internet right now. <laughs> what is your plan for this week? What are my oh, how, plans how do for this weekend? Yes. Well, actually I don't have any plans yet, but every weekend I go to visit my mom and my family and I spend all my bookings there. Okay, and this week, just you have to work. Well, I have weekends free. And tomorrow I will have a day off because I work in vaca on vacation. So I will get uh, they off because of that. All right. So round one is over. Let's go with round two. Um, so welcome, Jackie, Freddy, Juan Jose. Uh, Jennifer Thank you, teacher. and Beatriz, right? Good evening. It's good to good have evening. you back and that you are fine, okay? Even though some of you say that you, you feel sick or you feel a little bit sick, but you're here and uh, hopefully you're going to get better. I recommend you to have some natural medicine like tea or something. It helps, okay? It helps. So, um, Let's see if somebody else is joining us. No, I think we're complete. Okay, so let's go on. I am going to uh, share the screen with you so that we can catch up with the things that we have to do this, uh, well, this class. So first of all is this one right here. So as, first of all, they're reviewing the last session or the last lesson that was on Friday. 
What do you remember from last class? Remember that? Okay, we're going to try to remember the, the day with a specific word, right? So on Thursday, we have the Trivia Thursday, right? On Friday, we have the Fun Friday. And Monday is going to be mo motivation, motivation Monday. So, uh, so what did we, we did we play the bingo with what? What did we play the bingo with? What did we use to play the bingo? The vocabulary. Vocabulary, okay, that we had studied, okay. Do you remember some of the words that were included in the bingo? Opportunity generation. Opportunities, idea generation. Test marketing. Test. Test marketing, very good. Positioning. Brainstorm. Brainstorming. Opportunities. Opportunities. They already mentioned that one, yes. Threats. Threats. Yes. What? Product development. Strength. Ah, yeah. Strength. Product development. Strength. Okay. Purchase. Yes. Product line. Product line. Product line. Okay, excellent. Um, and I, okay, as you can see, first of all, you remember the vocabulary. You remember the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation. Now you don't get confused with the pronunciation of strength, for example. You don't say, now you don't say strange. Uh, you don't say treats. Now you say threats. So that is the idea, right? That we're learning, we're reinforcing, we're trying to remember, repeat the vocabulary. And also, I hope that you remember the meaning, right? The meaning of these words. So for example, if I ask you a, about a product line, what is a product line? In your own words, what would you say? Think about a restaurant, think about a... I when you know, have a new product. When you have a new product to offer, right? In the in your in your menu, in your services, right? Um, so yes, correct. Uh, I don't know, maybe the what I think that I mentioned the example of the camera, right? Uh, maybe the, the new product line they have is that they are offering uh, tours in the in the ocean right i don't know at the beach on a on a on a boat um uh, or dancing lessons so you can go and, and learn how to dance uh so that's a product line right uh, then the four words of the swot analysis you remember them opportunities threats you mentioned uh weaknesses and you mentioned strength right i think those are the the, the four uh, threats, opportunities, weaknesses, and what was the other one? Threats. Threats. Okay, threats. So, uh, in short, right, in short, you have to remember that the strength are the positive aspects of the product or the service that you have compared to other products or to other companies or to the competitors, right? Uh, the opportunities are the aspects that your product or your service could improve uh, or the opportunities that the market offers you, right? For example, uh, before the pandemic, uh, a lot of people didn't think about delivery and they have their own business, right? But they never thought about delivery. But then with the pandemic, they saw the opportunity, okay, everything's going to be online, everything's going to be delivery. so. We're going to save some money, but we have to invest money on this transportation, right? So um, that's an opportunity. And then weakness is something that you have to, I mean, that it, it's again, something negative, right? That you say, okay, uh, my product is good, but it's very popular. I mean, uh, a lot of people have the same product, so it's a little bit difficult to compete. Uh, or, the product that I make is just, uh, for example, if I make uh, hats uh, or sweaters. So sweaters in San Miguel, 
Mm, a weakness is that I can only offer them and sell them in winter. <laughs> But the rest of the year is really hot, so nobody's going to buy sweaters from it. That's a weakness, right? And the threat, okay, as the word says, right, threat, it's something that uh, can affect you, okay? Because it's an external factor, okay, that you cannot control. And uh, probably you, you can consider a threat that... Nowadays, people are going back to their classes. People are going back to the streets because they have the vaccines. So now, uh, let's suppose that selling masks is not such a good business because everybody has masks. And um, so it's a threat because in the future, people are not going to wear masks anymore. So it's a it's, a, it's, it's something that can affect you, right? Uh, so that's the analysis that you were making. And I am mentioning this, I am mentioning this because you made an analysis of a product that you invented, that you created. And today we are going to see that product again, okay? Most likely. Probably you will choose a new one, probably you will choose the same one, but that's what we're going to be doing in a moment. I will tell you. Uh, what else do you remember? What are the topics that we discussed uh, in the previous sessions? What did we talk about? What did we study? I will give you a clue. Subject, verb, agreement. Subject verb agreement, that's right. So we were discussing about that, okay? Uh, so it is important to know these topics because the, the, let's say, the less mistakes we make when we're speaking, the more people will understand us and the more confidence we will have when we speak. Because sometimes you have the idea, but you are afraid of making mistakes to express that idea. And that's the reason why you don't, you don't speak, right? Uh, or you don't speak too much. So um, learning how the language is structured, how the, the words are put together is really, really essential, right, to communicating. So uh, there are many aspects, okay, uh, to learn a language and to become proficient in the language. But if I have to mention three that are really important, first of all is that you have to lose your fear i mean you have to be confident you have to try to do it okay be optimistic so it's about personality right mentality so if you have a positive mentality and you go you go for it you have a big percentage of possibilities of learning the language second that would be that would have to do with uh the practice okay how much exposure you you have with the language so um, in this case, you have classes Monday through Friday. That's a, and two hours every day. That's a lot of time, right? Uh, consider, considering that some people just study English once a week or twice a week or just one hour every day, but you have two hours. Uh, and then if you practice a lot, right? Every opportunity you have, you practice. If you are at home and you practice, if you are working and you try to practice, if you're driving, you're practicing, for sure, you are going to see an improvement. And the last one, the last one that I, I consider is really important that you have to keep in mind is about perseverance because a lot of people just study English for one month or two months and then they stop for three months and then they go back that is like going to a gym. If you go to a gym just one month and then you stop going to a gym for four months and you eat a lot of pupusas and then you try to go back to the gym, you know that you're going to start again, right? Because you lose that consistency, right? That, um, uh, let's say, constant practice. So uh, it's a combination of different factors, of course, but when you're learning the language, you need to remember that the aspects of the language that you have to pay attention to is the structure, how the people put the sentences together, right? Um, and then learn enough vocabulary, right? As much as possible every day, try to learn something new so that you can add up, right, to your, your vocabulary tank or your bank of words 
So uh, the more words you have, the more possibilities you have to express your ideas, okay, in the language. And um, the last is try to pay attention, right? Try to pay attention to the way that people speak the language, try to imitate that and learn from your mistakes, okay? Making mistakes is part of the process. So if you don't make mistakes, probably you are uh, Albert Einstein's grand, great granddaughter or great grandson, right? You're a genius, so you never made mistakes. Um, but the, the point is that making mistakes doesn't have to make you feel bad, right? It's something that is normal, it's part of the process. And if you make mistakes, that means is that you're trying. So if you're trying, that's good. So uh, as they say, right, the only people who never make a mistake are the people who never do anything or never try anything. So try it out and go ahead. Now, what are we doing tonight? What are we doing in this class? Uh, Freddy's, read number one, please. The Determinate the best strategy to apply to conduct a product test. Okay, to determine, right? To determine the best strategies. And the second one, uh, Harvin. Harvin is struggling with the internet, but he's here. So, build. Build. Build vocabulary about product testing. Correct, so today we're going to build vocabulary. Why are we going to build vocabulary? Because we're going to focus on vocabulary today. So we're going to start the week with new words, new expressions, and practicing, putting those words into context and into practice. So let's get started. Uh, as you remember, we talked in the last session also, uh, we mentioned that we saw in the questions and the conversation, three different types of tests or product testing. We mentioned the sighted and handling. We mentioned the use test and we mentioned the monadic test in the conversation. But we have an idea about some of them, about two of them, but we don't know too much about monadic tests, for example. So what we're going to do right now, okay, before we go to that, is to practice a little bit more talking but this time you are going to be in purse okay in purse so you are going to have more time to talk so this is something that we did in the last uh module okay and we will try to see how it works right now because uh, normally i give you the questions or i give you the topic okay but this time I want you to talk about something that comes to your mind, okay? The first thing that comes to your mind, ask questions or talk about it. Tell your partner about that. So that's what you're going to do in the next, let me check, one, two, three, four minutes. So you have two minutes each approximately and uh, you have the two options, okay? Option number one, you think about a topic and you ask questions about it, for example, Okay, so I'm working with Diego, right? So Diego, um, what do you think about what happened with Barcelona and Messi? Okay, so that's that's so that's in this case Diego is going to answer, right? According to his knowledge, his opinion, and then I can continue asking more questions about the topic. Okay. Or, or the second option is okay. So Diego, today I want to talk to you about. Uh, my family. I will tell you the things that our family uh, likes to do together and the characteristics that are, make my family different to the majority of the families. And uh, well, first of all, my families, um, we have our, our nickname. So we call ourselves the Familia Peluche. You know why? Well, the reason is because we feel that everybody's different and everybody's funny in different ways. So when we get together, it's crazy and people don't stop laughing. So I, we identify ourselves with that family because everybody has something particular and it's funny to see those differences when we are together. So I'm just telling Diego about my family and that's it. So you have the two options, right? You can ask questions about a topic 
and then you can go on with follow-up questions or you can just talk and tell us something about a topic that you like so um or you know about i don't know you can talk about your faith or about any other topic okay that is not too controversial okay because maybe you have uh strong points about that but the other person doesn't feel comfortable talking about it so just try to have fun and use the language i'm going to recreate the breakout rooms we have 21 people here so i'm going to have just 10 breakout rooms okay that means that everybody should have a partner so harvin miguel francisco juan jose eh, luis with diego then we have floor and fabio okay let me check okay we have an we lost one person wait a second i'm going to check one two one two to here to there okay so you are alone here i'm going to move you to the room number okay got it so everybody has a partner now uh, there's going to be just one group with three people okay so uh, do you have any questions about the activity Yes, no? No. Much no. time with that. Okay, you have four minutes. That means in average, you have two minutes per person, okay? But talk as much as you can. Okay, okay. ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation, please. See you in a moment. Good, everybody's going there. Excellent. Diego, tell me. Okay, so after work, we, we need to talk here. <laughs> exactly. You are co workers? <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, we work in the same place, but in different positions. Exactly. Yes. Ah, different. okay, okay. Cool. Diego works in sales and I'm working operations. Interesting. Okay. So it will be easier to talk. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, Diego, what you do this day? Yeah, we have, you are not uh, we have four minutes for talk. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what do you want. Talk about. Uh, and Friday is easier because we have all day to the activities. Mm -hmm. okay. But but for when the when the weekend start is a little bit difficult for for me to do all the activities that I have to do in, in my job. Okay, me too. For me, it's difficult Monday because uh, I prepare different. Uh, thing in my in my job, for example, I I review the the person that makes it. Right. What do you say? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay, I I consider that it could be because um, about the person who is uh, making the food. It won't make. It won't. It's like it's like a scramble. Like if you uh -huh. try to translate, like let's say you're reading a letter, uh -huh. and you're trying to translate it. If you, if you translate word from word. It won't make sense. So you have to read the whole paragraph in order to translate it. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So that's why I uh -huh. Okay, uh, however, I don't know to followers. Do you like uh, this football soccer? Uh, yes, yes, I like. Uh, however, only, only I to watch or, or, or play. To play, too. Um, I used to play when I was a child. <laughs> So long time while. ago. <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> long time. What would you like? What would you like to do with with chocolate? Maybe a, a turtle. 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 Yeah. yeah. Only one minute. It's a really. Yeah. <laughs> Pass. Time in the afternoon, and um, uh, she likes to go to run and play, roll on the on the ground, on the grass. She likes eat uh, leaves and also flowers. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> in my case, in my case, both are really they like explore yeah, when i go out with with I, I i have to go one by one because they are bigger bigger yes. and then um i can i can go with both dogs yeah no, because it's, it's really difficult uh some 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 day i try and i can't do it <laughs> what kind what, what breed of dog do you have uh a uh, doberman and a pitbull Wow, never mind. Yeah, and uh, they have turn. One day, uh, Sass is first and he is second. The next day, in interchange the, the turns. Um, yeah. Really short time. <laughs> yeah, the are so interesting. Okay, it was getting interesting. Okay, don't worry. At the end of the session, you are going to have your second chance with the same partner, hopefully. If I remember who you were working with, <laughs> I'm going to take screenshots so I don't I don't forget about that. Okay, well, let me check. Uh, okay, give me a second. Or you can just talk to somebody else, right? But I will try to, to, to assign you to the same person, okay? Now, what topics came up in, in those conversations? Salvadorian food. Salvadorian food, okay, another topic? We're talking about uh, cakes. About we, cakes. Talk about, we talk about family and, and pets. Cakes, pets, family, Salvadorian food. Okay, what else? Work. Work. The Afghanistan work. trouble. Yes. The, Afg the problem in Afghanistan. Okay, I, I don't know too much about it. I just heard that people are trying to get out of that country. With Ana Beatriz and Francisco, we are talking about Gerard Mueller. Oh. He died, right? Yes. Okay. Today or yesterday? I don't know. Yeah. Saturday. Today. I think it was Saturday. Saturday? Okay, on Saturday. Wow. I think on Saturday, but I'm not sure. Who? Who? Sorry. Jerry Mueller, a famous <laughs> soccer player. Mm -hmm. a famous from Germany. Soccer. From Germany. The German tank. The German tank. That's right. Okay, yeah. so we have soccer, family, food, uh, pets, work. What else? We talk about what some companies do in pandemic. Uh, for instance? Like travel agency, agencies. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Travel agencies, yes. Ah, uh, with floor. <laughs> with uh -huh, floor. floor, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
Excellent. So thank you so much. We're going to go on later with the conversation, right? Now you have the idea of what I wanted you to do. Okay, so uh, trust me, it works a lot when you practice with somebody. Okay, no matter the topic, but that you practice and ask, answer questions helps a lot. I used to have my own uh, English partner when I was a student. Uh, I was a classmate and we used to practice a lot during class, before class, during the break, after the, the, the class. Um, and we ask each other a lot of questions. So we try to challenge each other. So, you, you know, it's, it's for two, it was for two years, so it was a long time. Now, I'm going to uh, help, well, not help you. I'm going to share with you the next slide so that you know exactly what we're going to do. So um, we're going to start building the vocabulary and we have specifically seven different types of product testing. So pronunciation first, okay? Um, let me see, I'm going to ask Roxana, can you please, can you please read the indications for the exercise number six? Okay, uh, the terms is the short and long described types of tests and research methods connected to product testing. Match, match the terms to their definitions, check, check answers with a partner. Check answers with a partner, okay. That's right, thank you so much, uh, Roxana. So there are different methods, right? Uh, research method. Uh, so in this case, we have number one, you already know, a site, and, site, in this case, site and handling. But when you pronounce it together, you pronounce the T in site, like, a, like an R. So you say site and, site and handling test, right? Site and handling test. Then we have number two, use test, that we already talked a little bit about that. Number three is branded. Okay, branded test. Uh, why do we say ed in branded? Because the last sound of the word brand is the sound d, right? So when we have the sound d or t in a, in a verb, in a regular verb, the past is pronounced with the sound ed. So if you say paint, painted, right? Or painted. If you say want, wanted. If you say need, needed. If you say create, created if you say invent invented or invented right so that's the rule for the for that pronunciation of the regular verbs in the past don't forget to to study those rules okay and practice put the words the verbs in in different categories right so you you study the verbs that finish in the sound t, then you study the verbs that finish in the sound uh d, and it, and finally you study the verbs that finish in, in the sound it, right so that in that way your brain is going to remember and put them in in the category they belong right so you don't forget about their the pronunciation when you uh want to use any of those verbs for example what is the pronunciation of this one right here connected connected right that's mm -hmm. correct that's right. So um, what is the pronunciation of this one? Ask. 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 Ask is the base Ask. form, but in the past? Ask. Ask. Asked. Ask. So Ask. in this case is asked, right? With the sound asked. T at the end. The sound t asked. at the end. Okay, so probably when you're speaking fast, you asked. probably skip the sound of k, right? And you say, hey, I asked you about that. Probably your people are going to get it. Um, and then we have another one here. What about this one? Used. Use it. Use it, used, used or used? Used. 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 used, okay, with the sound D at the end, right? Used. 
yes. Okay. okay, I used it for whatever, right? Now, um, let's go on. Uh, we have another one here. Yeah, yeah, this one. Test. 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 Mm. Tested. 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 Okay, because tested. For T. Because the verb uh -huh, finishes in the sound T, right? Oh, so you say yeah. tested. Uh -huh, tested. So that's the way that you have to learn these verbs. Okay. Um, let's go on. Number four, blind test. Number four is blind test. Number five, monadic method. Okay. Monadic method. Number six, sequential monadic method and number seven third comparisons test so some of them are tests the majority of them are tests but there are two that are methods right the monadic and the sequential monadic so right now what you're going to do as roxana read it is to match the terms to their definitions okay so i need you to uh, well, hold on. Yeah, we have some, some minutes. I'm going to give you four minutes so that you can try to do it by yourself, okay? Then I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms with the same people that you were working with, and you are going to compare and discuss, okay, about, the, about your answers. So uh, right now you have four minutes to try to do it by yourself. Read the definitions, write down the numbers in your notebook, right, from one to seven on your computer, and a... Or just a parenthesis, right? And you write down the number that you consider goes in, in the parenthesis in that specific order, right? So your time starts now, individually, in your notebook or in your computer. Try to match the terms to the definitions. One more minute.
Okay, so the time is up. Uh, right now I'm going to send you to the breakout room so you can share, not to give the answers to your class, right, but to share your opinions about this uh, exercise and, um, and discuss, right? Discuss the answers. So probably you have different answers, but you have to try to explain why you think that answer is like that. And then you, the, uh, your classmate is going to give his or her own reason, okay? And then I'm going to call you back and we're going to get the answer or check the answers together. So for this, you are going to have just three minutes, but first of all, I'm going to take the attendance so that we can see who's here right now. So let's see, Beatriz. Beatriz, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Mariela? Present. Blanca? Brenda? Diana? Present. Diego? I'm here. Nice. Uh, Floor? I'm here, teacher. Francisco. Present teacher. Freddy's. Uh, okay, Laura is not here today. Uh, Jackie. Present. Arvin. Present teacher. Jennifer. Juan I'm Jose. here, teacher. Teacher, I'm here. Okay, Jennifer, thank you. Juan Jose. I am here. Gustavo. I'm here, teacher. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Fabio. I'm here. Rolando. I'm here, teacher. Yanari. I'm here, teacher. Roxana. Present, teacher. Elizabeth and Suleyma. I think Elizabeth was having some internet connection problems. And uh, hopefully she's going to solve them soon. Hi teacher, I have problems with the connection. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I was checking that. Yeah, I, I didn't hear you. So uh, ready, set, go. So for this you will have just... Four minutes for discussion, okay? Four minutes to check, to compare your answers. Ready, set, and go. With your phone. Yes, but I have the manual in the computer. Okay. I have the the screenshot. Okay. If you want. Okay. I'm going to share. Okay, the teachers always appears in the screenshot. <laughs> I wonder why. With but, the but you mm -hmm. yes. visual elements. Yes. Or the product for consumers to experience. Okay. I think that is the okay. I, that is the correct one. Okay. I changed it. I update my 
my file. Uh, the oh, see the first is Brandeta. For me, the site and handling test. Use it in their own home. Uh -huh. That is use test. Yes, I think this one is we. This one is use test. Okay. Is the number three, right? Yes. Okay. Oof. And Brandon test. Brandon test. I think that was. Uh, well, I I think that um, the number three three is consumer are a, a teacher teacher help uh, help please monadic <laughs> method method what is I don't understand it's one monadic. type of method <laughs> but it's monadic <laughs> but I don't know what 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 is the meaning of monadic. I tried to find the, uh, the dictionary and I don't find uh, The dictionary told me, monadic. <laughs> monadic is monadic. <laughs> monadic comes from mono, that's one. Uh, mono. That's mono. all that I can tell you right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, it's... maybe I, I can't put yet, mm -hmm. but I think that is... Um, Maybe it's covered. Maybe I I I'm not sure. I'm mm -hmm. not sure, but but I think that it's covered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <Why don't> <laughs> Otherwise, it will be there. <laughs> We're talking about some interesting new teacher. <laughs> uh, I I I imagine that you were done with the answers. <laughs> Anything <laughs> news? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> the, the Taliban's they took over the country. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad how people try to get away and, and they try to get in the airplanes. So it looks like they grab from the airplanes. And when the airplane takes off, people just falling falling down. Mm -hmm. Wow. They say that six people were dead. Wow. In that in that in that uh, news that we were watching. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult situation. Imagine uh, in the middle of one pandemic, these type of things are happening, and we cannot do anything. We just see them like uh, like I don't know, like when you fry fish that is alive, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, all we can do is to pray. Yeah, that's the only thing. I hope that never happens to us. Yeah, Hopefully. hope so too. Handled, they ready, read it, then they just start to handle another product and read it. The customer doesn't read both products again. On the trace characteristic and on the branches, yes. Uh, modatic sequential mon monatic method. Customers use either a sample or for an extended period of the will use it into the year home. Any doubts? Mm. Yeah, all oh, teacher. <laughs> all uh, of them. Yeah, we are not sure, but we're trying to. Yes. Okay. Match them. Don't worry. Okay. We're going. We're going to check that in a moment. Okay. Um, Roxana, for the second. All right. That was the end of the round number three, I think, or four. I'm not sure which round that was. <laughs> okay, so 
let's say that it was the end of round three. So uh, I noticed that the, the majority of you were, let's say, uh, trying right to 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 match the answers or to compare the answers you have. However, not everybody was able to get to an agreement because there are some some of the methods or tests or types of tests that can be confusing, okay, it can be confusing. So right now I'm going to share the screen one more time so that we can try to get these answers together. And here it is. So um, I'm going to ask for volunteers to raise their hand so they can, you can give me one answer at a time. And then we will check if you were right or not. So, uh, Beatriz, Fabio, Rolando, Jennifer, Francisco. Beatriz, which one? Uh, Sai and handling tests. Okay. I think is this test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual element of the product for consumer experience. Okay, thank you. Number two, well, well sec second volunteer is Rolando. Later, we're going to see if you're right or not, right? If you have a, for example, if, if Rolando has an opinion and he thinks that uh, this definition that Beatriz mentioned is, doesn't correspond to site and handling, is more use test, you can give me that and I'm going to write down the number uh, next to that, right? And then we're going to compare. So Rolando? Which one do you want to share? Um, the number two. Okay. Use test. Um, consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they will usually use it in their own home. I guess that this is number two. Okay. Maybe you're right. Uh, who was the next person after Rolando? I think I'm. <laughs> Fabio, okay. Uh, the third one, branded test. Okay. Uh, I think is when customers are aware of their brand, they're trying this test. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. And the value of the brand. Value. Okay. The value of the brand. Thank you. Uh, next one. Who was next after Fabio? I guess me, teacher. Jennifer. Uh, and I will do the number first. Okay. Blind test. Products are test and branded. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristic. And I can see that. I'm not on the brand name. And not on the brand name. Okay. So that can be a blind test. Very good. Uh, next volunteer for Jennifer. Who was next? Francisco. I Francisco. Diana, teacher. Diana. Or Diana. Okay, so we okay. go with the ladies yeah. first. So Lady Diana and, yes. and Francisco. And then we have Miguel, I think. I don't know if I have the... No, I don't have the answer. Okay, so don't worry. That's, that's all right. Uh, so, Lady D gives the opportunity to Francisco. Okay, thank you, Lady D. <laughs> Number five, true? Number five, monadic method. Okay, in my case, I select the customer use of signal of 100, one product, uh, then another are, are asked to indicate which of the two they preference they prefer they prefer yes okay. that is number one that's monadic test hmm 
Okay, so who who's next? Miguel? Thank you, teacher. Uh, number six, sequential mon monadic metal. Mm -hmm. For me, is a uh, consumer use the product in a real circumstance. They use product sign it handle and and uh, handle it and ready it later. Okay. I think this a uh, 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 answer. So the last one would be number seven. Uh, by default, right? It's okay. Now these are the answers that your classmates gave us, right? Thank you so much in class for the volunteers, right? Because obviously you are trying to guess based on your opinion, your knowledge, right? What the answer uh, might be. But again, there are some that are confusing and it's understandable that you probably made a mistake. So um, which one do you agree with? Raise your hand if you agree that side and handling test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumer's experience. Raise your hand if you agree with that definition. Okay, or use a reaction, right? Thumbs up, a happy face, a heart, a ta-da. Okay, so we have eight people who say that it's correct. So in average, that would be 50% of the class uh, because we have around eight or nine people plus the person who gave the answer, that would be 10. Yeah, almost 50% of the class says that it's okay. Um, do you want me to give you the answer now or at the end? I guess in order. Now, teacher. Now, teacher. Now. 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 now or never. Okay, now or never. So the number one uh, that you said it's, uh, this is a good option. Yes, you are right. So that's the correct definition for side and handling. Good. Next one. Raise your hand if you think that uh, use test is consumer say the product to be used either as 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 a sample or for an extended period as they would usually use it in their own home. Okay, let's see how many people think that is correct. Yes, okay, we have around 11 or 12 people, so that's great. Yes, this is correct. So we, uh, this is definition for use test. Now, branded test. Number three, consumers are aware of the brand. Um, wait a second, the chat box is interfering with my vision. Okay, so, uh, Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Okay, raise your hand if you think that's true. Okay, we have six, seven reactions, eight, nine, ten. Ten people uh, think it is correct. So almost 50% of the class. Okay, so this is a branded test. Yes, okay, they are aware of the brand. So it's a branded test. Correct. Uh, we continue with the next one. It said put the number in other color. The number in other color. Put the number, the right, co the, the right number in mm -hmm. other color. For oh. this one, what is I cannot, I cannot change the color when I already wrote it, but I'm going to place a check, okay? And they want or to- Or add a okay. check, teacher. Okay. Please, yes. thanks. This exactly. is correct, this is correct. And Thank you. And we go with number four, blind test. Products are tested on branded, so the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the, same, on the, on the brand name. So not on the brand name. Raise your hand if you think that's right, that's correct. That is the, the definition that corresponds to that term, to that type of test. 
blind. Uh, blind. What's number? Sorry, teacher. Number four. Number four. Okay, excellent. So we got a lot of people saying that is correct. And yes, we place a check. Number four is correct. Let's go with number five. Uh, consumers, well, that would be the monadic method. Ah, oh, the famous and so controversial monadic. So the monadic method, according to this uh, answer, is consumers use or side and handler one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Raise your hand if you think that's correct. Okay, so around five people said that this was correct and the rest have doubts, I suppose. And yes. I have to tell you that this is not the correct definition for monadic method. I disagree. I have the number seven, but I don't, okay. I'm not sure. So what is the correct answer for the monadic method? Ten, 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 ten. The number five corresponds or goes here. To the second stamp. So we're going to place a stamp on mm -hmm. this one. This is not correct. I think it's so consumers the use the product in real circumstance. They use a product, cite mm -hmm. it, handle it, and rate it later. That's correct. So here we have a lot of crosses, right? A lot of X's. So, um, Let's go with the sequential monadic method. Uh, according to the guesses, that was the consumers is a product, right? In real circumstances. However, I already told you that is not the correct one. So what is the sequential monadic method? That it's the fifth sentence. Consumers use a product, sing it and handle it. Cite it. They rate it. And handle it. Uh -huh. They rate it. Yeah. Then? Then they, they use, cite, handle another product, and rate it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. Okay. For that reason, it is monadic because you focus only on one product. And you are not comparing this product with another one. Okay. You are just evaluating the product. Okay, for example, I have a cup here and I have a glass, but I just have to test, use, rate, handle, try, et cetera, et cetera, and give my, my point of view, right? But I'm not comparing them, which one is better? No, it's just an individual uh, test, an individual observation, right, of the product. So this is the correct definition for sequential monadic method. So this will be number six. Okay. Uh, two people raise their hands. Who are they? Beatriz and Miguel. Tell me, please. Beatriz or Miguel. Oh, you're raising the hand for the last one. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, uh, so the last yes, one. Yes, Excuse me. Yes, yes. Well, obviously, obviously, the last one is, is also incorrect, right? So the last one uh, was going to be per comparisons test, the definition consumers use or side and handle side. one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which uh, of the two they prefer. Okay. So uh, I give you the Samsung S10, and then I give you the iPhone 10S, and you have to tell me which one is better. Okay, so that is a, a per comparisons test. You have two products and you have to handle them, cite them, and use them, and say which one you prefer, which one you think is better. Okay. Uh, so, 
that would be the number seven. I will place it over here. That was the correct answer. Or that was the correct order, right? Number seven, five, two, six. three, six, one, and four. Okay, so congratulations. Now you know uh -huh. the correct answer and you were very close, right? Only three of them were a little bit uh, confusing, but you got it now. Do you have any questions before we go to the next exercise? Yes, no. Do you have any doubts about these methods, about any of the methods? Or each one, each, each one is clear, how you're going to use it. Please take a screenshot, right? So you remember uh, the right answer. I'm going to erase some things here so that you can, um, Take a screenshot with the right number, okay? So we said that this would be a number seven, right? And then this one would be the consumers use the product in real estate. Hello? Only the word monadic, what does it mean? One, focus on one. Only the word monadic. Yeah, I can't. A monadic method is when you focus on one thing, okay? So, um, and you're not comparing it with another thing. So that's a monadic method. Only where monadic comes from mono, that is one. Uh, like when they say monolingual. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. So that's-, that's Monopoly. The, yeah, monopoly. That's the, the only, the best explanation that I could possibly give. <laughs> So this will be a number, which one are we missing? Number six, right? Okay. Okay, so that's the correct order. You can take a screenshot, right? Uh, so you remember later which method goes with which description or which definition. Okay, ready? You have the screenshot. Yes. I have my screenshot Good. and now we go with the interesting part. Okay, so somebody's going to sleep. Now we go with your time to work. I told you today's working day. So you're going to be uh, using the vocabulary. And for that, I'm going to share with you the indications. So. I clear all the drawings and I go to the next one. So what are you going to do next? I'm going to ask, ten, 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 ten. Diego, can you please read the indications for the exercise number seven? Okay. Uh, group work. Okay, it's group work, very good. Retake the new product idea your group presented okay. in unit one. Okay, let's make a little pause here. So remember that you one group was focused on an app to, to find their pets. The other one was focused on uh, plants, uh, succulents and cactus, I think. The other one was focused on how to train the, your pet, an app to train your pet. And the other group was focused on creating a, a, this ammoniac, uh, Liquid uh, with fragrances, right? Uh, I think that was Rolanda's group. I think those were the four groups that were uh, formed. Correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm forgetting one group. So those were the four product ideas that you had. Then continue, Diego. What are you going to do okay. next? This call, this calls to testing strategies to fit the characters of the product. Yeah, correct. So you're going to discuss two strategies, two testing strategies or methods that you think go hand in hand with the product that you have. Okay. Next one. Brainstorm the advantage of testing the product using the strategies the group have selected. Okay. So brainstorming, right? Giving all your ideas about what are the advantages of testing the product using those strategies, those two strategies that you select. 
So all the advantages. Okay, and the last one. Uh, decide on the best strategy to test the new product. Thank you so much, Diego. So from the two strategies that you selected, which one is the best, the number one strategy that will really help you to test your product? When you finish, you are going to present your analysis to the class. So you have to select one or two people, or if you want, all the members of the group can talk, right? You just divide the, the, the speech that you're going to give, um, and you will present that to the class, okay? So if you want to create a little slide or a little Word document just with the strategies with the name of the product idea uh, from the two strategies what are the advantages and then which strategy is the best one just to have your ideas organized and present them in that way you can do it okay or if not you can just take notes and then you are going to share with us the results of your discussion of your analysis of which strategies are the most convenient for the product that you selected in the previous sessions. So, um, do you have any doubts about this activity? This is a really, really, really important activity, right? Because now you're going to put into practice everything, okay? You're going to get together all the information. Um, Francisco, question. Uh, yes, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, the we do the this course uh with the same type team that we do the the last project yes yes ah, okay okay if okay. if there were if there were some people who didn't participate in this activity we are going to add you to another to one team okay so don't worry about that Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, so in this moment, I need you to tell me the names that you remember that were in your team. Okay, so I can create a breakout room. I only remember Diana. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, let you choose the room. Okay, let you choose the room. Wait a second, wait a second. Or, uh, or I will who remember? So our room remember. one. Yes, I, I remember Diana um, Blanca. Ah, okay, hey, find your hey. pet. Okay, hey, okay, wait yes, a second, wait yes. a second, wait a second. So Francisco yes. was working with Diana. And me. Um, Blanca. Blanca and, and me, Miguel. Miguel. Okay, perfect. Miguel. Okay. And Miguel, okay. So we have the members Miguel. of the team one. I also remember Flor. Now. Freddy was working with Roberto, Fabio, and okay. Jackie and Xiomara. Wait a second. Freddy's with miss Jackie. miss one person. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm going to add the, the other people, but I want to have the at least some members in the team. So, Freddy's, Jackie. And Roberto, Fabio. Okay. Fabio. Only working you three. with Roberto, Padilla. Only you three. Okay. So, that would be some three members in the room number two. Room number three, uh, Floor. Floor, me, and I don't remember who else. Floor, me, that would be Gustavo. Was, was Gustavo. Anna Elizabeth and Anna Ruth with and me. Ruth. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ruth, okay, wait a second. I'm going to assign somebody else here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be the room number three. Rolando, who was working with you? Jennifer, Fabio. Wait a uh, second. Fabio it was in two teams? No. For this Harvey. activity, with, I with was... This. I was not with Rolando. Me. No, no, for, for this, this activity. No. Yeah. So who was it? Yeah. I don't remember. Harvin and Mariela. Ah, oh, oh, okay, okay. Jennifer and Harvin. Harvin, Harvin. Jennifer Harvin. too. Okay. Okay, Good. okay. So we have you in the team number four. Okay. Good. Now in the team number 
three, you, you told me Flor, Gustavo, and who else? Elizabeth. Ana Elizabeth and Ana Ruth. Ana Ruth. Who is Ana Ruth? <laughs> Ana Beatriz, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you. remember Ana Ruth. But the boat, the boat, Ana. Two Anas, okay? It was not Mariela because she was with uh, Rolando. So it was Ana Beatriz. Okay, perfect. So, Brenda, did you have a team? Do you remember? Diego? Well, Diego was not here. So I'm going to add Diego to the room number. I'm here. Room number two. Uh, with, with whom? Uh, the team number four, I guess. Okay, you won Diego. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Diego. Okay, okay. then uh, Brenda, I'm going to send you to another group. Uh, Juan Jose, do you remember in which team you were? You were? Roxana? Uh, Laura? I think it was in our, our team with Blank and Francisco. Who? Juan Jose? Yep. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to. I don't to... remember we are five. But I now you will. But now you will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you will because of the situation, right? So, um, perfect. So we're going to have Jackie, Freddy's. Okay. Perfect. We have the team Rolando, Diego, Harbin. five and we're missing just one more that would be laura okay perfect so i'm going to open the breakout rooms you go and start working with your team you have exactly 10 minutes 10 minutes Okay, Janari and Brenda, can you hear me? Teacher, yes, teacher, I disconnect because I have problems with my internet because uh, it's raining here. Okay, yes, okay, teacher. okay, I'm going to send you to a breakout room then. Yeah, yeah, teacher. So it will be in the room number two. Okay, it's an invitation. Okay, teacher. I can, okay, thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what happened, teacher. <laughs> okay, I'm, you're going to get it right now. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
the the new the new uh, presentations yeah because well suppose that we have only one presentation with the olders yeah and in this case we will we launch a new product with different with different uh, uh, presentation and with different uh, later later share this because we have to take the the idea of the of the methods that we choose mm -hmm. okay we choose the blind test, blind test that and that the products are tested method wow monadic, monadic, monadic method because we we're going to give to the customers the service of find your pet they can use it they can uh, well the the definition is that they can use the product in the real circumstances mm -hmm. so they can taste test the the app and see if it works and then when when the customer use it then can value this if the service works okay they can okay. rate it okay mm -hmm. yeah blind and a blind test uh, I think that if it is a new product uh, and the um, I and the brand it doesn't be known by a lot of people, they can use it too and only focus in the service and do if if it works too. And then we can show as a brand later, okay. I think. Go ahead. So you got the idea now. Yeah, we got the two methods. And for the third um, question, that where is the... And the, another one is brainstorm the advantage of testing the product using the strategies the group has selected. So you already selected the two strategies? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. No, uh, no, not yet. We start. Uh, we we start for uh, refresh all the that we 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 talked the last time in the group. Ah. Okay. Okay. And now we start to the to the group work. Excellent. Okay. I think I was <laughs> sick, <laughs> so I don't remember with my group. And I think don't worry. I think we an, an app. I, I, I think an app. It was too. I think I don't. I don't it's remember. also an app, so it's kind of no. similar. And it's about animals, so that's it's about pets. So it's about pets. Uh, it's like <laughs> we already you, choose a name. It's like if you, it's like if you were working for Nike and now you're working for Adidas. It's the same thing. Bananas, <laughs> banana, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Puma. Yeah. Pumba. Josh. Pumba Teacher, I that. didn't. I didn't take a screenshot for the, the indications. The indication. Okay, I'm gonna share the screen with you. But I'll, well, I will have to share the screen. Give me a second. I have to stop. I have to stop. I will do it. Okay. There you go. Thanks. I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Got it. You? Okay. Got it. Thank you. Welcome. So. We already choose what strategy strategies fit to the product. You chose the strategies? Yes. Okay. We we need the use test and the paid comparison test. And the what brand comparison test? No, no, pay pay pair 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 comparison test. Okay, okay. Paired comparison test. Uh, I think in an, in an app, uh, I think uh, you're talking about uh, an app, right? Yes, an app. This but app. But I think uh, some strategies will be uh, 
use test. Use test, yes, yes, that's the, be the best strategy. <laughs> Oh, okay, which okay. test is the best one? The remember best thing, that yes. If you're thinking about an app, remember that something that it, people usually do when an app is to rate it. Yeah. That's from right. one to five. So if there's a, right. a strategy, a test, or a method that it can could help be you, a monadic method, you the, need to the... think about that. Consider that. Okay. I'm just giving you a you're little right, right. opinion. Yeah. Testing. Yeah, that we are selected. You have? Yes, for me, the principal, the principal thing for our product have to be the, the usage that the person going to, to have with, with because the, the customer will be used everything. Uh, because uh, Francisco is proposed about uh, oh, an event about a uh, pet. Event. Francisco? Uh, I, I <gasps> don't understand, Francisco, about uh, you propose. Okay, teacher, show, I have a question. To show the product. Uh, Francisco. Yes. Uh, mm. You uh, did uh, propose about uh, an event where, uh, that the product it was a service. About yes. Pet. Yes. Yes, I pet. am. Yes, I am mentioned that we have to promote promote the product oh. when Free. when any. Um, you have to stop the 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 share. The the share. share. Okay. I put him in, in pausa. That is okay? No, you need to stop. Okay. I stop. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Now, uh, share yes, the, this, the screen. This. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we are a little worried because we don't have nothing yet. Yeah. You, you can see? Yes. Okay. So. I was thinking that maybe we can use the number. Let me see. Let me see what is it. The number number one, tight and handling test. That said that this test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. Because, I can handle this. Yes, because our, our, our product may be the, the first impression that is the important. Because if, if the people like a, a plant, maybe, maybe will will buy it if we if if the people see oh if the people the person see pretty see i don't know that i don't know if you can understand yes, they I growing can. yes i can understand that okay so i point. think that 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 is tragic cool cool work for us the number one and maybe the number and maybe the number two use test. Consumers take the product to be used either as a, as a sample or for an extended period that they will usually use in their own home. So it's like, like if sample 
clothes or gift. Yeah, for a present. Yes, yes, and we we can that that I think that you were saying that that maybe we can give a little a little samples with a little plant, and we we could show to the people how they have to take care. So if they can take care of that plan, maybe we they will come back to buy another plan. Yeah, I agree with you. What do good you think, point. Gustavo? Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. So I think that that, that are the two yes, that yes. work for us because the others, I think that... Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, because it's from the two, you have to choose one. That is the best one, right? <gasps> the best one is the number one for me. Yeah, sign and hand, hand and test. Yes, for the best is sign and hand and test. Exactly. Is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes I am V two. If you oh. something beautiful, maybe yeah. you, you buy, buy it. it. You maybe you buy it. <laughs> you buy yeah. It. Or you 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 give give a gift? Yes. Give a give a gift, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is our or auction. Are you agree? I think that is the best one. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. agree. Laura? Anna Elizabeth? Yes. Are yes. you agree? Remember when the with the verb agree we say do. Do you agree? Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Does do everybody you agree? Does, does everybody agree? Yes. Uh huh. Everybody. Very good. Yes. And you say yes. Everybody agrees or yes, I agree. Awesome. awesome. It is correct if I say so. Do I? Yes. So do I. So do okay. I. You have one more minute. Yeah. Who who is who is talking for the group? The last one, I was me. So now, now one. you can be. <laughs> no, <again>. no, no, <laughs> no. Another you one. You, Flor, you had a created an ideas about that. You, you can talk at very the fluid. At the beginning, we were lost with Gustavo, Laura, and Ana Elizabeth. But but you you can talk, Beatriz, <laughs> because I'm cooking. Oh, okay. don't worry. Uh, she has. You can thing. cook, eat, and walk and talking with us. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook and you can talk, but in Spanish. In English, the the X can work, or or I I cannot talk. <laughs> what do you think, Gustavo? All right. So that was the end of round four, I think. I lost count of the round. <laughs> okay, now, uh, I feel that for some teams, the most difficult part was to agree who was going to present. But uh, you thought about the methods or the tests really quickly. And simply, it's divided into three parts, right? The two methods that you, can, that you discussed that were the best ones for you, for your product. Then the advantages of those strategies, methods, or tests. And then as a team, which one you chose to be the best one from the two, okay? The better one from the two. So um, that's all that you're going to share with us. However, I told you that today we were, you were going to have a second chance, right? To practice with your classmates. And I'm going to give you the indications for tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow we're going to go uh, at the beginning of the class, right after taking the attendance, we are going to uh, listen to the presentations. We're going to listen to the presentations of the teams. 
this time we're going to do it in order from first to last. So we'll go, we're going, uh, the first group to present is going to be the room number one, Blanca, Diana, Francisco, Juan Jose, and Miguel Angel. The second one is Freddy's, Roxana, Jackie, Fabio, and Janari. Number three is going to be Beatriz, Elizabeth, Flor, Laura, and Gustavo. And number four, it's Mariela, uh, Diego, Brenda, Harvin, Jennifer, and Rolando. So this was the biggest team. Um, okay, now, uh, so you're going to have uh, exactly three minutes to present your information. So three minutes to speak and share uh, with us your, your, your method and the advantages. I think it's more than enough. So every team is going to have three minutes tomorrow, right? After we take the attendance, we start with the presentations. So um, right now I'm going to take the attendance quickly and I will send you to the breakout rooms in a moment, okay? So Suleyma is not here today and Elizabeth. I'm here. Nice, uh, Roxana. Present teacher. Yanari. I'm here. Rolando. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Okay, Roberto. Fabio. I'm here. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Gustavo. Juan I'm Jose. here. I'm here. Okay, perfect. Arvin. Jennifer. Present, teacher. I'm here, teacher. Jackie. Laura. Present. Present teacher. Freddy. Present teacher. Francisco. Present teacher. Flor. I'm here. Diego. Present. Diana. Present. Brenda. Blanca. I'm here. Mariela. Present. And Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, got it. I'm here too. So, I too, I okay, do okay. Hear my name? Yes, I, I said it, but probably the, I mean, you couldn't hear that. Okay, but yes, Juan Jose, no problem. So let's go on. Uh, with a reaction, how much did you like the activity, uh, the group activity where you had to discuss about the methods or the tests that you had to use? How was it for you? You can use a reaction or say something in the chat or in the microphone. Um, let me check. I see some likes, some thumbs up, tada, and a little heart. Awesome. I enjoy listening to you guys. It was really fun. Um, and I think that you got really good information about the methods. Let me just clarify that for today's session, it is Monday the 16th. Uh, apparently it's Beatriz, but Beatriz was um, last I week. I was on Friday. Uh -huh, you were the last week, that's right. So the next person in the list is Fabio. Yes. Can you stay for the last 10 minutes after the class is over? Yes. Today. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So quickly, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Uh, this time it's going to be in purse. So you are going to have the second round, similar to the first talking time, right? So that you were talking about any topic that you like nonstop, like continuously talking or asking questions to your partner. So I'm going to send you back to the breakout rooms. It's going to be just one group with three people, but the rest is going to be um, in purse. Let me check. I just need to identify where someone is. Okay. Got it. Ready, set, and you have exactly two minutes. Well, three, let's say three. And we come back. Go there. Take advantage of time. You don't have too much. Teacher, can you send, send me the invitation again, please? Sure. Let me find you. Okay, floor.
So the invitation to the breakout room number three. Teacher, you sent me to the, the room four. I was yeah, in the- but now you are in the three. I am? Yeah, I, I sent you to the four and then I sent you to the three, but it seems like With it didn't Brenda? work. <laughs> no, let me check. Okay, I will send you to the number seven right now. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, you were alone. So, um, ask me questions or I ask you questions better, right? So, I don't Diana, have Diana, what can you say about babies, about pregnancy? Oh my God. Is it interesting? It's a it... that I was thinking it was. It's going to be, sorry. Uh huh. Um, because of the sickness. Mm -hmm. Um, because everything that you want to eat, you cannot because of the sickness. Um, because of some pains, so tooth pain. Uh, because of the back pain <laughs> and because uh, because of the clothes you don't Clothes? feed them, them. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you have to buy new clothes, clothes? and uh -huh. and it's uh, like I don't know if I have to to buy bigger like real bigger clothes or just two more sides because after pregnancy I don't I think I don't want to use that <laughs> I more, think uh, I don't know uh -huh. yeah. I have to prepare mentally because uh, you know everybody says that I'm not going to have any time for me more time for me <laughs> They say that. Oh, yeah. I'm nervous, scared, and excited. I don't know. That, it's a mix, <laughs> you have mixed yeah. feelings. Mixed feelings. Yeah, it's difficult okay. to express it. <laughs> but I'm happy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. I suppose being the first one, it's. <laughs> kind it's, of you know, it's an adventure, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I'm coming, not the first one and soon. the last one, like like yeah. grandmother says, so. True. Okay, excellent. Uh, have you thought about a name and everything already? Uh, today I was looking for some, uh, but I don't know why I feel it's going to be a boy. Uh -huh. Since the first time I know that I, I, I am pregnant. Okay, that you knew you were pregnant. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that is going to be like that, but I'm preparing like it's a boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you're going to be a great mom. So I hope so too. Yes. You learn in the in, in the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's for Everybody sure. says that. <laughs> yeah, there's not a manual. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nervous laugh. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I, I know, I know. Okay, thank you for sharing. I think that we're going back. Okay, thank See you. See you later. See you. Little short. <laughs> Too Little short. Teacher. Too short. I know. Teacher, finally, I can uh, speak with Rolando. And really? we have the same. Yeah, it's the first time we, we talk. Okay, so I will make sure I will, I will make sure that you have another chance this week. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Uh, we have to talk so about man. K drama. Oh, man. Good luck, Rolando. So, uh, thank you everybody for <laughs> joining, joining us tonight. Well, joining me tonight, it was a pleasure uh, as usual, uh, as always to see you. And uh, I hope that 
I can see you again tomorrow. Don't forget that uh, you need to start catching up with the week two assignments because it finishes on Wednesday, okay? That's the end of week okay. two. Okay, so okay, thank you so thank much. thank you. Take good care of yourself. Okay, okay. And thank you, teacher. Night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, see you. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Have a good night. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Okay. We are saying goodbye. And here we are. Good night, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Again. So um let me check. You really like green, right? I like the color green, a green color. It's my room. Yes, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I was taking a look at that. So, uh, Fabio, I got you uh, as a volunteer because, yeah, I think somebody was not able to join last week or to stay last week, but I'm not sure who that was. I need to check. Uh, yeah, because it was Yanetti's turn, but she was a day before. Yeah, it was somebody from the first days. <laughs> somebody yeah. missed the somebody the missed that. Yeah, exactly. It's turn. He, she, or it's turn. Or yeah. So what is so this? Here we are. So <laughs> these extra extra ten minutes that are given uh, as a kind of uh, review or clarification time for well clarifying any doubts about the contents, about the language, about the class that we just had. Um, so it's like a little, let's say, tutoring or a little personalized mm -hmm. space for yeah for students. So. <laughs> so I don't know if there is any question you have or any topic that you find a little bit, I don't know, confusing or complex or difficult. In the last session between, I don't know if it was Thursday or Friday, we see the, I don't know who would say, the, the complex user. The complex, I think, the use complex, of R uh, and, and uh, kind of plural. Object verb agreement. Uh, verb, verb agreement, right. Object verb agreement. Uh -huh. Object verb agreement. And with that, I have some problem, problem in the in the question. And I I think I may understand a little bit in the in the quiz we, we, we make, mm -hmm. but I don't know why I keep uh, making kind of the same mistake between when it was a uh, subject she, he, or uh, it. Uh -huh. Something I forget it has to be with a yes at the end. Like, uh -huh. and so something I confuse when it's a plural. And I think, ah, this one must have the yes, like, in the end, okay. but now the plural is like the normal, a normal verb and no. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So yeah, this is a, a topic that, I mean, this is studied in the, when you see the simple present and you see the third person form in the simple present. So the third person singular, because uh, in English we have thir three persons, right? The first person is I. You we and... Have no, only I. No, first only person, I. I. The second person and third person is the, I mean, the three forms, first, second, and third person are in singular and plural. So mm -hmm. the first person singular is I. The first person plural is we. So it's other people and me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the second person singular is you. Like you are Fabio, right? You are a student, you are a man. And the second person plural is you when you refer to more than one person. So for example, 
Fabio, eh, I mean, Diego, eh, Gustavo, eh, Roxana, and you are the new students. So you four are new students in this module. So I refer to you as a group, mm -hmm. that is Pluto. And then you have the third person. Third person singular is he, she, and she, it. Me. And third person plural is they. They. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, so in this case, we are going to focus, when you use the first person, uh, the second person in the two forms, singular and plural, and when you use the third person plural, the verb doesn't change. It's a base form, the normal form. So for example, I play, you play, play. we they play, play, they play. Uh, but when you use the third person singular, that is he, she, and it, there is in the simple present, there is when you make the, the exception, right? So it's a different rule. If it is affirmative, you say he plays. So you add the letter S. But for these rules, you have to study the rules of the third person singular in the verbs. So mm -hmm. you study them and you will see that there are uh, three different cases. So the verbs that you only add the letter S, this is affirmative. In the negative and the questions, no. In the questions, um, you don't change the verb. You only change the auxiliary. For example, uh, you say, do you play soccer? Yes, I am. Yes, I do, right? And then when you focus on he, she, it, you say, does she? So we change the auxiliary on oh. Does she play soccer? Play, no modification, because in the question, you don't change the verb, mm -hmm. but you change the auxiliary. You don't say, do she? You say, does she? And in the negative, you don't change the verb, you change only the auxiliary. So he doesn't play soccer. She doesn't play soccer. So we don't say, she don't. We say, she doesn't. Okay, uh, if it is a verb be, I am, you are, they are, we are, he, she, it, is. So they have another form. And um, in the affirmative, as I was telling you, we have when you add the letter S, for example, play, plays, work, works. Works. Okay, uh, talk, talks. And you have the verbs when that you add es, for example, wash, washes, washes. fix, fixes, fixes, go, goes, do, does. Okay, kiss, kisses. So there are some there are some verbs that go into that category, and then you have the other verbs that that are, for example, very few. The verb have has a, a specific form for he, she, it. That is has, has. So it's an exception, right? With the verb mm -hmm. have, you have another form that is has. And the verb be, right? So for he, she, it, we use is. Yes. Uh -huh. So that's the other, the other uh, variation, right? Uh, and that's it. So you have to study the third person singular form of the verbs in the simple present. That is, that is the topic that you have to study for that. And you will see, right, that it's structured like that in the simple present only with the third person singular. Only in those cases, you make a modification in the verb. But in, the, in questions, no. In negative, no. You only change the auxiliary. Um, the verb is not modified. And basically that's it. Uh, that's, that's the rule. And that's why you get confused probably because you haven't studied that topic uh, in a long time. In a long time, uh -huh. yes. In a long time. 
I I already studied English like when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you know it's been short, but it's already almost ten years, nine, nine years. years. Nine years, okay, yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. So okay. yeah, I haven't I have not had the chance of speaking English a lot. So okay. only watching do. music. Watch the movies, okay. Watching mu movies, listening music. Just a time like two years ago when uh, two uncles came and they they hear that I can speak English, so they only <laughs> speak to me in English. <laughs> okay, nice. So that's the kind of practice that you need, okay, to refresh, yeah. to refresh those knowledge. Well, that knowledge that you have. Okay, so that will be all for the session, Fabio. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. It was my pleasure. So have a good night and get enough rest. See you tomorrow, um, man. See you tomorrow. Good okay. night and have a good rest too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.